Hi, I'm Jonathan Kohler. I'm a pediatric surgeon, and today I'm here to talk to you about belly buttons. About 20% of babies are born with a hole in the wall of the abdomen where the umbilical cord comes out. As you probably know, this hole is what we call an umbilical hernia. The skin over the hole can get stretched out, giving umbilical hernias their classic Audi look, but it's the hole and not the skin that matters. Having a lot of stretched out skin like an elephant trunk does not mean that the hernia hole itself is large. Complications from umbilical hernias are extremely rare, like one in 10,000 or so. In kids, the biggest concern is that the intestines, or the omentum, which is the layer of fat that lies over the intestines, can come out through the umbilical hernia hole and get stuck. That's called incarceration, but again, it almost never happens. What does happen is in about nine of every 10 children, the hole closes on its own by the time a child's four or five. People have tried to figure out how to predict which hernias will close and which will not. It turns out that no one's really figured it out yet. For example, just because a hernia is big at birth or has a lot of overlying skin, that doesn't necessarily mean that the hernia won't close by itself. What that means is that children who get their hernias repaired before age four or five may be having unnecessary operations for a problem that will likely fix itself and almost certainly won't cause a problem. That exposes these kids to risks of surgery. Those risks are definitely very low, but they are not zero. And there are other risks. For instance, even though most kids shouldn't need opioids after umbilical hernia repair, about half of kids who have an umbilical hernia repair fill a prescription for opioid pain medicine. And about 6% of those kids fill a second prescription. So does that mean that kids are getting their hernias repaired when they're four or five? Well, yes and no. We don't have data for every state, but if you look at Florida and New York, for example, the answer is mostly. But if you look at a state like Wisconsin, you can see that lots of kids are still getting umbilical hernias repaired at very young ages. One of the reasons for this is that, until recently, there was no official guideline for pediatric umbilical hernia repair. But now there is. The American Academy of Pediatrics Section on Surgery and the Choosing Wisely campaign have issued a guideline for care. Here's what it says. Avoid referring most children with umbilical hernias to a pediatric surgeon until around age four to five years. The idea of avoiding referrals is important. It's not enough for surgeons like me to be gatekeepers when a child is sent to my office to talk about an operation. We need primary care providers to help us counsel patients and parents that it's safe to wait. Parents trust their primary care provider to tell them that waiting to repair an umbilical hernia is the best decision. Primary care doctors, surgeons, parents, and patients. We all need to work together to make sure that kids get the care they need and don't have unnecessary operations. Thanks so much for joining me today. You can find more information in the links below.